Hi everybody, it's Marcy, and I'm still working on my Stash Buster journal. Today I'm working on the letter R, recycled items, and I'm using, I've got some backing tag type things, like those are from Mini Paper Clips, Tim Holtz. I've got the backing paper that my paper flowers were on, and this is just a little tag off of something. Don't really have a huge plan for what I'm going to do with these. This one I've got kind of an idea. This will probably, this, well, no, this will be my little ephemera piece. But I'm going to kind of be winging it. My desk is a huge mess. I've got papers. Scattered all over it. Uh, just from working on this journal and here in a few minutes I'll show you what I've gotten done since I last recorded. But as you can see right now, I'm just trying to get this little tag covered. Okay. So got that glued down. Now I need need a pokey tool. All right, that's where the hole is. So, I want to check these. I've got these brads that I've gotten at Hobby Lobby some time ago. And I thought it might be too big for this, but I thought I'd give it a try. Oops. Can't get those prongs to stay together. Okay. So if I have that on there. And then I've got all these fussy cut images that I've been trying to use up. Uh, I'm not overly happy with it, but... What? There we go. Let's bring in Okay, sorry, sorry, I'm I'm kind of sort of not really thinking out loud. This is what happens when I don't have 
a definite plan for something. And it would be different if I had any really exciting news that I could talk about while I was while crafting, but I really don't. Okay. Pull that out for a minute. Now my little roses, I'm going to end up having to trim around, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to get glue everywhere. Trying to use up, well, I mean, it is Stash Buster Month, but trying to get some of these fussy cut images used up, not necessarily to get rid of them. I mean, there is no real getting rid of them. They uh, are from digitals, but I'd gotten kind of heavy-handed with my scan and cut and cut a bunch of stuff out, which is great. That's what it's what I got it for, but sometimes it gets overwhelming to have too much, for me, to have too much stuff. Okay, so if I do that and then Let me ink around this a little bit. All right. I did, though, I got my clean, uh, clear clean stamps. I did get those kind of organized. Now I just need a plate, need to find where I'm going to put them. Okay. What I want, I think, is. I'm going to want a little loop at the top. Then, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. So I'm just playing. And dragging you guys along to play too. Okay. So if I put that under the brad, Trim the ends, and I'm going to put I have such a hard time with bows that for me, 
it's I try to put a, just a bead of glue right where it's tied so that it doesn't come untied so that I don't have to try to tie it again. Okay, so pretty simple, but that's going to be my little embellishment piece, and that can go however it goes on a page. All right, so then for my tag, what do I want to do for my tag? Okay, I got some papers torn, and the first thing I'm going to do is glue this little paper onto the back of my tag. That way there will be a little journaling space, and I won't forget to do it. And I'm leaving the cut out at the top of the tag and a little bit of an edge around it just because it is this Tim Holtz stuff so why not okay uh, I've got glue all over my fingers already Okay, now for the front, I'm only going to leave the tag opening and above everything else will be covered. pin back in my glue and now let's do a little trimming glue all over my desk got this woman and this little rosebud
Let's piddly glue the rosebud. I have glue all over my fingers, so everything is sticking to me. As soon as I'm done here, I've got to get my hands clean and clean off, clean the glue off my craft mat. Okay. Glue her down. And I think what I'm going to do is um, as soon as I'm done with this, I will show you what I've gotten done off camera. And I'm going to grab a baby wipe. And um, my recycle item page item, I will just do off camera. Okay. Uh. least get some of this. I apologize. Okay. At least get some of this. Glue off my fingers. All right. Let's give this a little Upper. of some sort. <coughs> EPS is here. Okay, so there we go. Bug, it's okay. Okay, so there's that. I probably need to ink around that a little bit. Okay, so there's my tag and my embellishment. And what did I do off camera? I did, oh yeah, I did my tools I haven't used in a while, which was my scan and cut. So what I did for my page, I cut out a frame and put acetate behind it. So we've got a nice place. I've got this piece of paper in there just to remind me I need to do something with it. So that was my page item. And then I cut out a couple of more that I can use somewhere else in the journal. Then I cut out two top tucks and 
in the cutout, I put some of that paper that my paper, some of that vellum type paper that my paper flowers were on. So I thought that looked really cute. Added a butterfly and used a little bit of my uh, Stickles glitter glue. And then I cut out some really kind of funky shaped wide. They're kind of uh, short. Well, I mean, they're they're not really short. They're I mean, they're six inches tall, but they're almost as wide as they are tall. They're four inches wide. But anyway, they just look like kind of chubby little uh, tabs. They sort of match me. But anyway, so those are my tags. Then I did, oh, the envelopes. And for the envelopes, I used a coin envelope on a tag. So, and I actually liked this side better. So you flip it over and I cut the envelope down a little bit. and You've got a little extra hidey place in your coin envelope. But I actually liked this side of the envelope better, so I made it facing the front. And I left my tie around here loose so that you can actually flip the coin envelope around. Then I used another coin envelope that will just be a little tuck space. I didn't decorate the back at all, but I did the front. And then that'll be my little embellishment. And then I made this page out of a, I believe it's, what is it, eight and a half by, I believe it was six inches wide. I had to narrow it down a little bit. I had to bring the flap in a little bit to get it to narrow down. And I just covered this side with scrapbook paper, but this side I really love the way it looks. So, did that, sort of the same idea as what I was doing on the tag, but bigger and more elements used. And then uh, I'll figure something out to put in there, but I've got a magnetic closure so it can open and close in the journal. Anyway, so that's what I did off camera, and now a couple of my recycled items, and I'll show you the pages that I, or the page that I make in another video. Until next time, everyone, please be safe, stay healthy, and happy crafting. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.